right, good evening everybody and welcome to the 1860 Club. It's an absolute pleasure to be down at the club tonight after training. Um, didn't get to see anyone train, but uh, they've trained hard, they assure me. You didn't miss much sleep today. Uh, no <laughs> we've got the famous Maratus brothers, Dennis, Alex and Greg, so welcome. Thank you. It's Thanks, a, indeed a great pleasure to have you. Um, when I was doing my research, uh, I don't do a heap of research, uh, but what I did do you guys have got an extraordinary story. Three brothers, been here 15 plus years. Mm. The record is, which we'll go through at, at various times during the course of the conversation, is probably second to none uh, for three brothers. Uh, records, trophies, championships, premierships, life membership, uh, it's, it's a great story. And from the past players, you guys are current players, thank you very much for being with the club for such a long period, it, uh, it's, it's helped to be the glue uh, that it needs. So, we'll start off with uh, uh, Alex. Let me introduce Alex. How are you, Lee? I'm um, good, thank you. Alex has played around about 150 games uh, with the club. Um, played uh, over 50 in the firsts. Uh, club champion in 2016-17. Um, Won the uh, most valuable player in the seconds and the thirds in uh, consecutive years, 19, 20, 20, 21. Won the batting average uh, a couple of times. Premiership player in the seconds and also the thirds. Played in the thirds premiership with his brothers uh, back in... Uh, 2008. 2008 and 9. 9, yeah. yeah. Wayne McLaughlin was skipper. Fantastic. <laughs> and some pretty decent batting averages when you've won, you know, 64.4 and uh, 40.86. You get a so. 64 one year. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. Yeah. That was, was, a, that, uh, was that the premiership year? Uh, two, no, it was 2009. So oh, right. well, it was the year okay. after. So obviously the experience of the grand finals. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and playing under the great man himself, uh, Wacker. Wacker. Yes. Yeah. yeah, he was awesome. Yeah. Dennis, you played uh, in excess of 200 games. Um, I haven't got the exact number here, but and in excess of 50 odd, close to 60 in, in the ones. Life member of the club in 2021, yeah, which is a, a great honour. Club champion in 15-16, uh, second eleven premiership player and captain. Um, that was a great win. Uh, it was a good year. 2012 and 2013, most valuable player in the two, so won the uh, Richard Norris uh, Award. Oh, indeed. And in 2010, the Paul Jones Award is the most valuable player. Won the batting average in the seconds and thirds. Uh, the second 11 batting average in 14-15 was impressive at 58.5. Uh, won the third 11 batting average in 2010-11. Um, holds the record for this with uh, Daniel Gregory with yeah. the uh, second highest partnership in the history of the club, 270 for the third wicket in the twos. Yeah, uh, which was unreal. Versus well, Coburg, that was uh, yeah. it's a good innings. That's, that's quite Kept them out there. We'll, we'll talk about that one mm. because... Uh, I don't know how, you, how you've uh, compiled 270. Because yeah. uh, I understand it too, it wasn't very much. Uh, I can't remember. Now you're going to test my memory, Lee. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. Greg, you've played over 100 games uh, with the club. You've played close to 50 with the uh, first, or you may have just gone past uh, 50. Won the uh, first 11 batting average, 15 16, with uh, 22. Uh, 2009 won the second. 11 uh, batting average with 26 and 16 17 also the batting average at 64.6 that was one hell of a year oh, i got a 64 too yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah so let's go uh back to the start your how did you get down to preston uh so who's the eldest uh the eldest is dennis yeah um so dennis is what 35 35 yeah, yeah. i'm 33 and, and greg's uh 29 Correct. so yeah. um it was we were down at Northgate United, yep. and um, and I think I was about sixteen at the time, and and I wanted to sort of progress our cricket a little bit, and um, I mean Dennis not, and Greg, not ours, yours. <laughs> Dennis and Greg didn't really know much about me contacting another club, but I got on the phone to Preston. Um, Did you? Read? Did you actually? Yeah, oh, I, okay. I I called up and I. For, I can't remember exactly who I spoke to, but um, it might have been Dick. Yeah. Um, and and at the time, he he invited us down, obviously, and um, the rest is history. history. Yeah. So, yeah, um, 
So did you come down by yourself for the first year? Or did um, the, didn't you I start think, playing juniors? I remember I, yeah. played, I, I played against Preston. Yep. And Hazy was captain of the junior team. But anyway. Yeah, it might have been juniors when I first came down. Yeah. Um, and then I think within that season or the following season, mm. joined into the the senior senior club. Yeah. 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 So, um, yeah. At the time, I think I, I I kept playing junior cricket, and then Preston couldn't get a team up in the juniors. So then, in the end, came and joined, started playing seniors right. later on as well. Okay. Yeah. And Dad, Peter, uh, has been a pretty regular attender down yep. here, following the boys around. Um, to Let's call him an enthusiastic supporter of right. the boys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And your journey with cricket, it, what, it started in the backyard or primary school? Or, uh... I don't know. We started uh, as, as young kids. Dad followed it on the TV and we yeah. kind of developed an yeah. interest and started in the backyard. I remember... I remember Milo cricket. I had a run yeah. in Milo. Did you do Milo cricket? Nah, Straight I did. Yeah, I, did. So, yeah. I think you and I did Milo cricket. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then our first junior club was Northgate United because we were, we grew up in Thornbury, yeah. local there. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, that was a good. That was a good. That was a good. That was a good few seasons there, juniors and seniors. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, as Al said, we came down to Preston, and it's been great. It's yeah. been awesome. Yeah. 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 Let's uh, go through that uh, premiership that you won in 2008. It's only yep. uh, 14 or 15 years ago, so yep. it should be still front and centre in the memory. Uh, it actually is. It was a great thing. Yeah, it's actually... Yeah. I remember I'll tell you all about it. About yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us about it. Okay. Yeah. So, look, we, um, I know that we, we batted first and we got off to a, to a half-decent start with a couple of partnerships. Um, all, all in all, I know that. So it was a Pete Diaz made a made a couple of runs. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it was myself and Phil Newen opened the batting. Yep. It was it me and Phil? You and Phil in opening. A, I reckon I made runs in the semi. I didn't make runs in the. Grand I don't game. think anyone made runs. Everybody in the made runs in the semi. Yeah. 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 All right. And, so and then <laughs> so, so for the for the cut, we'll come back to it. <laughs> so we started off uh, uh, okay with the bat. Yeah. Ended up with I think it was one twenty. Or yeah. 115 or something? Yeah. I think it was 180, Greg. 180? No, no, no. I, I think Greg's... All right, whatever. Yeah. You I mean, are way off 120 then. or 130. Okay, all right, yeah. all right. Anyway. So, we, yeah, around about 115, and, and there was probably, I think, we bowled five overs mm -hmm. um, when, we, when we went into bowl that night, and we had Benny Sutter uh, and Phil, Phil, Croc Croc Phil Crockenberg, who are yeah. big, big two opening bowlers. Um... And then the, the game just started to, to turn. We didn't have the momentum with the bat. They, were, they kept yeah. taking wickets. I think we took, was it four wickets? Overnight. Overnight. We had them four yeah, for... Yeah, I think we did. Four or five. I think it was four for 50-odd yeah. overnight. I'm getting the figures wrong because I think we bowled more than five overs. Mm. <laughs> um, but it was just LB shouts, yes. plays and misses, mm. caught behinds. Um, and... and it was funny in that game, Greg was fielding it Second. third third slip. I think it could have been third. Third slip. He ended up with three catches. Right. At third slip. Which is pretty good for At, thirds cricket, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It was out here. It was here. Yeah. Yeah. It was a bit of pace on. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. It tells you the quality of the bowlers mm. as well. Yes. Yeah. Um and we just went on to, to get a fantastic win. Sure. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah. And and quite unique for the three of you you when you're so young to share in the premiership. It yeah. probably means more now than what at the time, what were right. we? Was it yeah. was it our second year or third year, maybe? Um, well, if I was sixteen, probably yeah, second or third year. Yeah, yeah. And at the yeah. time, it's like, oh yeah, we, we've got a granny. That's cool. Yeah. Mm. And then they don't come by no, often. They don't. they don't come by. Often. And the the famous words that and I remember Wax said at yeah, the time was, too. "Boys, look around the change rooms. You will never play with the exact same side again." Mm. Never. Yeah. That's a very smart, so take it in. I enjoy yeah, very accurate it. Yeah. comment. Yeah, yep. yep. and we did. Yeah, yep. yeah. Yep. Um, talking of premierships, the next premiership was the seconds. Yeah, uh, a couple 20, of years ago, twenty-one. Yeah, mm. during COVID, which was a you know quite an extraordinary mm. sort of uh, mm. the first season of COVID, wasn't it? Mm. Uh, yeah. that year didn't get going till late, and they were all one day. One day, yeah. Uh, and the and 
you were captain. Correct. Just take us through uh, that particular game. Well, look, I'll start with the the fact that this all this COVID business happened. The, the fact that we were actually able to get on the park, it was a credit to all the people around this club, around the, the sub-district. I think that was awesome, the fact that we were able to get a, a season in. Um, I, look, the actual the actual grand final game was versus, were against Altona. Um, our old mate Aaron Weir was out here playing for Altona as well. Um, he So we lost the toss. Yeah. And the captain looked at me and he said, I wonder what you guys would like to do. And he didn't really have that, you know, mm. it, it, it wasn't what does Altona want to do, it's what the Preston didn't want to do. Yeah. So there was a little bit of that intimidation, I think, because we had played them during the year. And um, he chose to send us in. Yeah. Um, and we had this man and um, Daniel Gregory who opened the batting and they put on a really good start. Was it 100? Maybe not. Oh, uh, not a hundred. No, because we didn't make over two hundred in the grade. We would have put on about seventy or eighty. Yeah. yeah, we ended up with something like one seventy, one eighty yeah. around there. Yeah. Good defendable score. Good defendable uh, score. Fifty overs. Yeah. Forty-five. 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 Yeah. Um, look, that opening partnership was probably the the key for us. There was a few guys that chipped in throughout the day, but to be honest, there wasn't. I can't remember any other big other big partnerships or big scores. You went around. Um, <laughs> Uh, and then, yeah, we, we obviously had a crack with the ball. We, all year, we were really disciplined with the ball. It didn't mm -hmm. change on the day. Mm -hmm. They got a partnership going in the middle order. And then um, young Gurnas came on. Um, he got the ball sort of after drinks um, and rolled through a couple. Mm -hmm. um, and then from there, we were right on top. Yep. I think Kyle Walsh got the last wicket, um, caught on the boundary. Kyle Turner caught him on the boundary and... It was over. Yes. So yeah, it was a good day. It's a lot of that, a lot of, when I think back, a lot's of, just a bit of a blur. Yeah. Sometimes until you sit down and think and well, well, go through. Well, when you're captain. Yeah. Your, your concentration uh, for the whole match. Ball yeah. by ball. So that's, that's right. Is, uh, when intense. when you think about that season and and you look at how the season began versus, you know, where we got to in the mm. end mm. and and the growth of some of the the younger players that were there, it was. Um, it was pretty special. It was a pretty special year from that perspective. There's a few guys that went on um, to Premier Cricket as a result. Um, but I think that uh, ability for, for Dennis and the rest of the team to sort of galvanise through the year and we sort of challenged each other in the field especially mm -hmm. and everybody had a really good time when we were out in the field and it was, yeah, it was a pretty unique season. And, and I'll jump in because I was there, I wasn't watching. <laughs> um, and, and I could actually, you know, you, you could feel the camaraderie in the team. There, there was a really good level of, of there was a united front yeah. with, the, with the team. And I think that's what always, mm. you know, is at the yeah. forefront of a, of a good team. Yeah. Good yeah. captaincy, that is. Yeah. Oh. oh, look, I wouldn't, wouldn't go that far. <laughs> Absolutely, mate. Yeah. Fantastic. Did you keep that game? No. So young uh, Lachlan, well... Lachlan Kirkwright had the gloves for the year, yeah, yeah. Um, but um, yeah, he was good behind the he was good behind the stumps. Um, I, I missed it, but we said let's give Kirkwright a yeah. go. He's a good, great keeper. Yeah. So and he's still with the club, so he kept in our ones this year. So yeah, yeah he's a good talent too. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah.